Welcome back to yet another episode of the Hardcore series. Last episode, we did a lot of building, right? And I mean a lot of building. And by the end of the episode, we didn't have all the interiors done. So in between, I did make sure to get that fixed up real quick. It ain't much. I mean, the last time I said it wasn't much, it still isn't that much, right? A lot of space for improvement still a lot of possibilities to add even more nonsense in but you know at least there's something now at least there is something and most of the reason is that whenever you walk around i do like to have at least a little bit of a feel of life of whatever whatnot and strangely enough even just seeing it through some windows oh actually we've got this one perfect even seeing just a little bit of color of a lantern behind a window compared to just having nothing there, right? It just adds a fair bit of life and a fair bit of an extra detailed feel to it. Just a little bit of green over there. Just a little bit of the extra shelf up there. You don't really see it, but if you closely, if you carefully look, you can still get a little bit of an extra feel, right? But today we're not focusing too much on all the interior. Today we're focusing on new stuff. And one of those bits is that everything you see right here behind me is going to go today. All of it. Because what we got to do is a whole bunch more building. I mean, it wouldn't be an episode for me if it wasn't a lot of building, right? But we're also going to be trying to get to the dragon today. Because even though, you know, getting full shiny diamond armor is fine and all the building is fine. The building is going to be a lot easier with wings to just be able to fly up and down real quick. So whenever I forget a couple of blocks, I don't have to jump down, lose half my health and then go back up with scaffolding again, right? It's just a bit annoying. So I definitely want to try to get those before we get into the real building today. But let's quickly get rid of the train behind here that we have the space that we need. And then we'll see. I'm just taking away your home, that's all. N nothing weird, it's all good. Promise. You're free, buddy. You're free. Before we break up the last house, though, we currently have a librarian inside, right? And I think what I want to do is quickly make sure he's locked his trade in. So that we don't get the same trouble as in episode 2. Where we have to destroy either every single workstation in the area. Or that we get the issue where we have to block him in in a one by one. While he's already in a small space completely locked in by himself, right? Let's quickly get to that. I think I'm going to get a mending book if we can. The tools are getting kind of low, right? It would be kind of nice. Let's quickly see if we can get one mending book. And so it begins. Thirty-two per minute. That is expensive. Yeah, we can get that cheaper. We can get that for cheaper. Well, that that's comforting. That that's giving me a lot of faith here. A more expensive one. Okay, now it's just trolling me at this point. 32, 36, 34. You can just see the emerald in his eyes. He wants them. He wants them. I'm pretty sure that many can be sold anywhere between 10 and around 40, I think. So I kind of want to see if we can get at least below 20 here. That would be alright. That would be alright. we go for 10 that's what we're talking about that is what we're talking about nice let's set them in and we also got the bookshelves for nine as well so it should be easy decorating later on if you want to use that as well nice but cheap mending i like it <laughs> i do like it cool and let's get the last two villagers 
also back to freedom, right? For now, anyway. And with the houses out of the way, let's get to actual terraforming, right? We'll leave these guys in here before they fall down, trap themselves inside of the piece of land that we're never going to find them back again. Because they can stay around this height, I think. At least for now. And that is most of the terrain that we're going to build on. Fairly flattened out, I'd say. Although, the one issue we have right now... Yeah, that's not all that pretty, right? So let's do one more quick snap. And fix it all up. And there we go. And that's a whole lot, a lot better already, right? It for sure is not perfect yet. But I think we can definitely work with this, right? Is looking a whole lot cleaner already anyway that's the important bit but with that out of the way there's a couple of things i want to get to today and first of all i want to go and see if we can find another fortress just to get some blaze rods after that i want to quickly lay out the floor plan for what we're going to build today to give you guys a bit of an idea where we'll be headed with it then i want to see if we can find the answer hold already today maybe take on the dragon already we'll see where it takes us and last but not least if we're starting to think about going to the end soon, potentially getting some wings soon, I think it might be time to think about a creeper farm as well, right? To get a steady source for rockets going. So that's basically the plan for today. But let's start with the first things first. Let's get to the nether. Golden helmet not forgotten this time, but we got a little bit of food. So I think if we quickly grab the fire resistance potions that we got, all the way from bordering last episode. I think we're good to go. Oh, being able to one-shoot those guys again. That is nice. And a ghost head. I'll take it. Oh, that was easy. That was easy. Nice. Uh, let's see, let's get a couple of these guys. Might as well take the splash ones. Just as easy. Um, and so for to go, I think we'll just head somewhat that direction, just behind the bastion. And we'll see where we end up. Didn't know those guys could spawn in here. Ah. Initial wasteland, I see. Or, or that. Oh, oh, uh, that's brutes. We can get that though. Smith template. All right. Bit of obsidian. We'll uh, come back to this one once we actually got the inventory space for that. Hmm, shame. That. That's a forest. For forest. R forest. Yeah. Yeah. For fortress. That one. Cool. And in the middle of a source in a valley. Oh, that's going to be fun. Let's do that first, though. Make sure at least the fire doesn't damage us as much. Oop, there we go. First one. Oh yeah, I put smite on there. Ooh, I put smite on there. Oh, I like it. That was a good call. That was a good call. Sometimes I'm smart. Ow, 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 ow. Just, just, let's just give it a sometimes though. Oh, a little bit of that stuff. Yep, also some valley on this side as well. Okay. Oh, this side is open actually. Hmm, this might be a really good one. Diamonds! And the rip armor turn. Ooh, that makes two already. Alright. Another rip armor turn. Okay, okay. 
Come to us, Hammer. We'll clear it out later. We'll clear it out later. So I think this is what we'll be coming back to. Pretty sure. Right, let's keep going for a bit until the fire resistance potion runs out. Then we've got one more potion to get off of this area. And get to safety. Somehow. Until then, I mean, a couple of wooden skeleton kills. I don't mind. Is that? <gasps> it is. Ooh. Oh, and he chose to wear it. All right. Arrgh! Is that a double one? You're kidding me, right? <laughs> You're kidding me. Oh, sh Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, well, that's a good start. <laughs> that's a really good start. All right. I see how it is today. I don't even know how lucky we can get at this point. Yeah, we're definitely making a farm here. This is too good. This is absolutely too good. Oh, and let's get out before the fire resistance wears off. Um, after we get through this patch, though. Oh, boy. That's a lot of friends. That is a lot of friends. Easy. Cool. And we're out. Oh. Oh. But not safe. There we go. Cool. That's pretty good. Haul, I'd say. 17 of those guys. Couple of wither skeleton skulls, even. Little bit of gold. Some extra armor drips. Okay. And we're home. That was easy. <clears throat> oh. That, that. Oh. That's nearby. Hold up. All in all. Pretty good success so far. For a small trip into the nether. I think we got plenty of brass rods to work at least towards the end portal today. Maybe actually get an ender chest or two going as well. And for potion brewing a little bit as well. And along with that, a bit of nether work to get that started as well. A couple of pearls. Even some spare blocks after trading up with the piglins. A little bit of trade goodies. And of course, the armor trims and with the skeleton skulls. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Oh, that is nice to have. Just a place for general extra goods. That is nice. Now don't to haul as much back and forth anymore. That's a lifesaver. But with the first step out of the way, let's get to the second part of the plan for today. And the second part is going to be all about planning out the next part. Of the town we're going to build. And with the first part already being a nice little square. It, it's just a nice little market for people to come together, right? Surrounded by a lot of houses. And I, I'm kind of liking the feel of it. I'm kind of liking the vibe of it. Like that, that there's close alleys where the houses are really almost hanging over you. Really towering out above you. But it's also small open places to give you a little bit more feel for the world itself. I think I want to do that again. So let me quickly... Place down the first little bit of the plan, and I'll bring you guys right back into it. You guys all know the nice little story about building one block off, right? Yeah, if you look closely in time lapse just before, we missed one block right at the start. So we gotta move all of it one block back. Fun. Because the block we missed, this one wall piece right here, right? Make that symmetric. Ah, I forgot about that one. So everything from here needs to be pushed one block further that way. On the bright side, this building. And these three can stay. That that that's positive, right? Right? Uh, it's fine. It's fine. And that is why you always double check your builds before you actually go and do something. <sighs> I 
with that all we got a new day going let's start thinking about the next bit of the video that we had planned right trying to find the intro hold let's quickly get everything ready for that let's quickly get everything together that we need and let's see what direction we need to go come on that fish for you yo well oh, hard way this Oh, or not so hard way. Oh. Let's at least do temporals into Isavander. We might need more, we might need less. But I would like to keep a couple of pearls in reserve if we can. We'll bring everything though, just to be sure, right? That we can always open up the portal if we need. Cool. I think that's it. I think that is it. Oh, now that we've got everything, let's find a bit of an empty spot. Yeah, that, that should do. And let's see where it takes us. Oh. Alright, ocean. Easy enough. Now, normally, I believe these fortresses are about a thousand blocks out. So, let's just go to like eight, nine hundred blocks out. And throw the second one. See if we can get somewhat close. We're about a thousand blocks further on. Let's see if we still gotta go the same way. Looks like it. Alright. This I'm just another 300 further along, but I don't want to overshoot it, right? But too much. Yeah, exactly that. Oop. No! Oh, I hate to see it. No. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. Right, so it was somewhere out in the ocean in between where we were at a thousand blocks. Oh, uh, well, Z1000, and the 1300 we were currently at. Does mean we got an ocean stronghold. That is kind of cool. Uh, let's go about halfway. Let's see what we got. That should about do it. Back that one again. It should be down here then. Not in here. Ah, that's doable. Uh, that's doable. Quick double check. Yep, straight down. Uh, let's make a small tube right here. And no rule, don't dig straight down. But the first little bit, we actually will do that, I think. Deep set levels already, okay. Oh, I don't mind. That's not very promising. This look, I'm not seeing a single piece of stone brick. Uh, it's a bit of a shame. And we're on minus 33 already. I doubt it's further down. So it is right there. Oh, please don't fall into the lava. Life. No. <laughs> well, of course. Right, since it was a little bit further up from down there. Uh, let's just go back up this pillar. So that's a bit of a dead end. Um, go around stone levels and see if we... Just if we dig out in a couple of sides... We can find something. So that's at least 30 blocks up, 40 blocks up. So let's go like what? Y10 or something and try there. Oop. Let's try here. See if there's something. Yeah, 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 you're, you're kidding me, right? There we go. It, uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's it's, it's fine. Right, we're here. Boop. Dead end. That's a good start. Yeah, let's go up here then. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, uh. Okay. Okay, I won't complain anymore. 
I, I, I won't complain anymore. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. First, first chest did, did it. Okay, it's fine. Everything's cool. Everything's fine. Cool. I, I, I won't complain again. It's fine. Uh, okay. Second chest again. Okay. Uh, do they just want me to complain more? What is this? Huh. And I'm lost. It's fine. Oh, that ends. Oh, oh library. Okay. We'll take that. We'll take that. We're definitely emptying this out in a bit. But first, let's just check this. Third one, sure. Small. Ooh. Uh, I think I'll leave these books for now. I think. And it's just a one level library, right? Yeah, okay. So only one chest in this one. We're definitely going back here to empty out for the bookshelves. But I don't think I'll take them right now. Is that another library? No, oh, double one. Ooh, all right. I'm intrigued. <laughs> They're how much Okay. Then a book. Pretty four. What is that for a book? <laughs> what kind of book is this? Oh, hold up. Hold, hold up. Efficiency 4 and breaking 3. Protection 3. Plus walker 2. Like, oh. These have to be for a boots, but they're so good for a tool as well. Oh, that's something. That is something. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll leave it that we, we We don't have the inventory slots to bring it along, I think. And we definitely have to come back for the bookshelves yet again, right? Only if we really find something we immediately need, do we take it. <laughs> that is a book. Holy. Shams 3 protection. And yet another one of these. Is it just 100% each chest or something? Because we've got five chests. It's five of these guys. Must be, right? But yeah, that, that's an alright book. I guess together with that one, it would make a protection 4 as well. Would be really nice for uh, Frostwalker boots, though. Portal room. <gasps> Let's quickly break the spawner before we get annoyed by that, right? Oh god, I heard it. Okay. Oh god, it was that one in the back. Okay. Oh, there we go. Cool. We got a portal room. Minus 6, 23. 13, 13. So whenever we set it up in the nether, we can align it up nicely. That it will always connect without any issues. But let's not go through yet. Let's... Fix up a little more of the board so we kind of know what pathways we need to go to get everywhere. And see if we can find some more stuff. What I think I want to do real quick is empty out the libraries and set up another highway. That way, when we need to pop back over, it'll be extra easy to do so. And if we set it up anyway, we might as well bring back home all the loot we got anyway, right? Not too bad of a haul, all in all. Six X and a little bit of bookshelves. Couple of cobwebs. Couple of books, bit of string. Yeah, it's alright. That is alright. Cool. Please, nothing bad. Oh, that's alright. Bit of fire, but that's fine. But let's quickly move this portal over to a bit of a higher area. That it has the same Y level as our other portal, which I believe is 88. We'll make a quick tunnel, connect it all up, and that should make life in the future way easier. Let's do it! Next up was the dragon fight. So after quickly sorting everything in the inventory as it should be, it was time to jump in.
And let's see what we get. And all the XP. Oh, you love to see it. And of course, we gotta get that guy right. Quick torch underneath. And another achievement. Nice. But as I've already said, I think I wanna go end rating right away with this one. We might as well get those wings while we're here anyway, right? Might as well. Let's see where it takes us. Uh. <clears throat> let's pretend this is the first try, right? Let, let, let's just pretend. It's it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Ooh, that's a lot of element. Anything inside, though? Oh, another gateway. That, that's something. But since we're in the end, it doesn't really matter, right? The, the game is super chill. The same does. It doesn't take nearly as many resources as in the overworld with our base and with all the caves. So what we can do here is quickly go to the options and boost our render distance all the way right so it's uh, going to be a little bit easier to spot end cities now let's see if there's anything nearby that's okay that's all right i can't see a ship yet though but still it will show it will at least be shoko boxes which make carrying around items way, way easier. That should make building a lot easier as well. And that's two. And the first density. Hey yo. After clearing out the first density, we quickly set out to find some more. Ooh, more cities. Duh. I mean, at least a treasure room this time. And a shulker room. But, again, no boat. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, and another city. <gasps> With a boat. Oh, okay, let's do that one first. That's going to make end rating... That's going to make rating that one way easier later on. Let's do the big boy first. Is this thing somewhat above the island? Of course it's not. Amazing. Uh, let's go up around here then. 
see if we can get there. Hopefully without setting off the Shokas and being able to shoot them off. But we'll see. There we go. Absolutely normal this. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and there we go. Our first wings. Oh, that's amazing. Sky's the limit. But before there's anything else, important stuff first, right? Anvil, wings, <laughs> breaking, mending. And we gotta name them, right? For a bit of a memory. If we want to put it in a museum, at least we'll be able to, right? And of course, not to forget this guy. And this is what I've been missing. Oh, that feels nice. That feels good. I've missed flying. Cool, but let's get the rest of these cities done. And after finding a couple more cities. And clearing them all out, we slowly went on our way to find a gateway. And let's head back home, right? Oh, amazing! We beat the game! Yeah, we all know where this goes, right? Oop. Oh, that's dark. But all in all, I think we got some pretty good returns, right? From the little end rating action. Let's have a quick look what we got. Oh. That one and that one. Uh, we got a bunch of horse stuff. Six more saddles, two more horse armors. Even though I've never really done anything with horses so far. How do I think about it? That's kind of a shame. Hmm. Maybe in the future. But on top of that, an extra pair of wings. Some extra gear, right? Probably just for decorating or to improve the ones we currently have already. And then, of course, we got our stackables a little bit of organizing later i think it's way better now everywhere in the end of just itself we got a nice little organization and of course the backpack a little bit color coded as well now right just a useful bit as well and as for all the extra gear that we had give a little spot to those as well right like i said this is going to be the starter gear house I might as well make it look a little bit fancy. But now they still have 64 levels to work with. I think what I want to do real quick is enchant all of our tools. Get a couple more rolls on the jump table. See what we can get. But now that we're back home, I think it's about time we start actually doing something in terms of building, right? And with the entire floor plan already laid out, I think we just need a little bit in terms of resources. I'll be able to crank this entire thing out. Let's quickly get those. And we can start building. Very important. Turtle eggs. Ooh, four already. Good start. And the reason we just made those potions is because with night vision potions, it's a lot easier to see the ocean floor. And one more resource we're gonna need for today is calcite. And as far as I know, the easiest way to get a lot of it is either to look for some mountains and clean those out, which is gonna ruin the terrain, right? Or we scour the ocean floor in the hope that we can find a couple of geodes on there and empty those out. Should be a little bit easier. And there's one. And number two. And there's a third. I think we're good with that one. That should last a while, right? Or I hope so, anyway. And now that we've got most of the resources ready. Last build.
it with that, we're already looking at the sunset on day 299. And that's day 300. Let's go. No Angry Bees? Huh. Wax on. Okay, I put a phone of it. Wax off. Oop. And there we have it. The first part of this build completed. And I gotta say, by far the biggest. But it does look kind of weird without the side bits. But those side bits are gonna have to wait a little bit. Because, as you guys may have seen on the side of the build, let's quickly pop over. We have started breeding up some of these guys, right? And uh, if you guys see that kind of shape, and you guys see these guys, it, 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 you guys know what's going to be up next, right? Yeah, we're going to be putting a small creeper farm inside of this tower. Now that we got our wings, we deal with the paper supply. Ah! bit manual but we got it already but if we want a lot of rockets we need to have a bit of a creeper farm but in order to make a creeper farmer here we are gonna need some wither roses so next course of action go get more wither skeleton skulls now that we got wings though we can make some potions this should be easy to get especially with the fortress we already had this should be easy But of course, we can't just simply cheese the first wither of our world, right? The first one's gotta be proper. And here we are, a little abandoned island, a little bit away from the base, just in case the wither decides to start shooting bullets, right? And I think you've got everything prepared that we need. Of course, the stuff to spawn in the wither, our chest plates that we'll put on as soon as we start fighting, the food, a little bit of milk just in case, but I think we should be good to go. Let's quickly wait until we can sleep so we have a full day for this before we get creepers and zombies in between as well. And let's hope we survive.
Hi. E easy. E e e easy. L luckily, the island didn't get demolished. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. At least a lot of free dirt, though. Bright sides. Granted, that may not have been my best wither fight ever. But on a more important note, you guys may have noticed that did not get us any wither roses, right? That's because I wasn't really feeling like getting that at the same time as doing the first wither. So we gotta do one more wither, but this time actually get the roses, right? This time actually get those. The plan for that though is I think I wanna do the chicken approach. And that means we gotta get a couple of chicken eggs. I hatch chickens from those chicken eggs underneath the end portal. Make sure that all the chickens are down to half heart, and then spawn a wither in the midst of them so that they all turn into wither roses. For that, we're gonna need a lot of chicken eggs though, so let's quickly set up a chicken farm while we set up the creeper farm preparations so that once we get the wither roses, we can run the farm right away. Now, the creeper farm we're gonna go for is not your usual one, so to say. It's a bit of an improvisation on the spot kind of type deal. Um, but it should definitely do the trick. It should definitely do the trick. As you guys know, it is definitely going to be cat based. And uh, what we're going to have is these kind of plateaus. Then on either side of the torch, say right here and say right here. That should be fine. And uh, we're going to have a cat on each of these locations. And then, obviously, two blocks higher up, we're going to have another level of those again, right? Same up, same up, all the way up to the top. That should give us about 10 layers, if I'm guessing this right. And uh, what these creepers are going to do is if we place trapdoors right over on this side. And right over here. Oh, not there. The creepers are going to try to get away from the cats. The cats have a 5 block scare range, so that should overlap nicely. Uh, they'll try to run away as far as they can into the only safe position they can find, which is going to be right over here. And they'll fall down because they can't actually walk over here, right? And then down there, we'll have a little bit of an area with the wither rose I was talking about and collecting all the drops down below. And that should do and of course, not fully unimportant, we gotta make sure that as soon as the torches are gone, no spiders can spawn, right? And for that, it's gonna be fairly simple. Oh, that one ran in spot of the torch. We gotta make a small pattern to make sure there's no 3x3 three three areas anymore. And I think that this pattern should do just fine. There might be a more optimized one. But I think this will be decent, right? Then it was just copying it over five more times and making sure each layer had a trapdoor roof. Now if we quickly go into cheat cam. Like I said, we're currently six layers in. Oh, we gotta push that guy back up. It, it would work already, right? This would definitely work already. Um, If we get the conclusion though, that we still want a little bit more. We could always cover these windows up with tinted glass and extend it through another layer of two or three. But only if we really want, right? In terms of eggs though, we're not doing that well yet. So far I've been using all the eggs we've gotten to populate this little chamber in even more. But I want to have at least around one shulker full, right? That's probably a little bit overkill. Probably about half a shulker only, but just to be sure. So while we're waiting for that one, I guess we can just do some more building.
And there we go. Not too bad of a start, I'd say. Of course, still lacking all the details, lacking the roofs, obviously, right? But it's a nice start. As for the chickens, let's quickly see how well it... Oh, well, it's more than I thought, actually. Seeing as we were aiming for a shoker-ish. Got almost a shoker and a half. Nice. And as I've already said before, the chick we've been to use is spawning in the wither underneath the bedrock right here. And the way to do that is to dig out a hole to make a small room underneath here. There we go. Now if I did this correctly. Yep, perfect. Make sure you got the block exactly down the middle here, right? The exact center point. And make sure to leave a two block gap right here. And then it doesn't really matter in what way you face it, as long as the single block is right underneath there. And if we're going to do the smart way, let's make this all half flaps underneath it. And what you want to have is the soul sand for the wither you're going to put right there. And as soon as you want to spawn on the wither, you place the last one down the middle, right? And you should be able to safely kill the wither. But obviously, that's not what we're going to do just yet. We're going, to have some ex we're going to have some extra steps in between for that. Since I don't want to be throwing all the eggs manually, let's set up a small something something for that, right? So what I'm going to do is dispenser here. Observer, observer. And the dispenser right here. Sticky piston, sticky piston. And two more observers, like so. That whenever these two are extended, that's when I'll... I'll Start creating some magic. Next up, a small lever as such. Small lever dust right here. Doesn't really matter that those can see that. All it needs to do is power the pistons down below, right? Oh, we can fill that back in. And all we need now is a couple of hoppers feeding into that. And we're good to go. Oh, this one go right there. And there we go. Two more hoppers. Perfect. Put those there. And if you quickly check. They should keep dispensing with a little on off switch. Nice. Perfect. And now all we got to do is place the shulkers as so. Eggs will start coming in here. And ever they're done, we can spawn in the wither and we're good. Let's go. There we go, right? And slowly but steadily, we should have this entire place filling up with chickens this way. A few moments later. And that sounds like a sun. Perfect. Let's turn that one off real quick. Oh. That is going to be the one downside of this play. Shock box are going to end up in here as well. But it's fine. It's fine. And with all these guys here already. Oh, that should be plenty by the way. Nice. All we got to do. Get some seeds. In our offhands. We go and throw the poison potion that'll bring all these guys down to half a heart as you can hear they're already down all the way right oh god i'm still poisoned though oh boy and then what we gotta do is simply place the last skull these guys should already be close enough everywhere but you know might as well play it safe <laughs> Never gets old. Never gets old. And there we go. Just over a stack of with the roses. And of course another star. Nice. And with the with the roses now collected. Let's quickly set up the kill chamber of the creeper farm. And let's see if it actually works. Now it doesn't need to be too far below all this, but a little bit of space might be nice, right? Let me using soul sand here. Mud would also do, right? But since I don't have an easy way to get to mud yet, eh, this stuff is a little bit easier to get. There we go. Let's see. Middle point is right here. And that facing down temporary collection will we'll give us something a bit more fancy later on. I'll sit here a little bit, see if we can get any spawns. Uh, let, let's just sit here for like 10 minutes, see if we get any spawns. 
And about five minutes later, let's see what we got. Let's see. Good nine. A ten. I mean, almost a stack in just five minutes. And that's still without anything being spawn proof down below, right? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. That did mean that everything had to be spawn proof real quick. At least the bits that would be loaded in if we're working up here. And after basically everything being spawn proof, let's try this again for five minutes. See what we get this time. That was about five minutes. Let's have a look. That is definitely a lot better. Those are two stacks in this one. And what do we have on this side? Hmm, a lot less actually on this side. Not sure what's up with that. But just this in five minutes. I think that's plenty. I definitely think that is plenty. At least to make sure it will be stocked up on rockets for the foreseeable future. That does leave us with a bit of a weird building so far. Let's make sure that's a little bit more patched up and see how it looks once it's done. So once more, yet another time lapse today. Here we go. And would you look how that just adds to the entire feel of what we had before as well, right? I'm liking this build. I'm really liking this addition to it that we did today. Of course, not too much on the interiors yet. It's a bit empty. We'll get to that, I promise. But at least some of the visible bits we did do, right? That it looks a little bit better. The storage for the gunpowder is a tiny bit improved as well. It's automatically loaded into the barrels right here. And we can just move it over into the different chests if we feel like it, right? But all in all, I really like this. I really like it. And I think we can be proud with what we achieved today with that, right? We found another fortress. We've gotten all the blaze rods and the wither skeleton skulls that we could like. We fought off the dragon. We fought off a couple of withers. We got Elijah. We got shulker boxes. We got a really big extra part of the build, along with the creeper farm inside of it. And we progressed around 200 more days into the world. I think we can be proud today. So thank you guys again so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Until the next one. Bye bye.